Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is War Train here. Do me a favor, if you're new, please subscribe and turn on notifications down below so that you guys can get notified of every time I upload a new video just like this one. And if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, please give it a thumbs up. But with that said, today's video guys, we are going to play Link's Awakening. That's right, I have the Dreamers Edition. If you haven't seen it, check out my unboxing of that or check out my unboxing of the Switch Lite or the Sega Genesis Mini. Lots of unboxings lately, so it's been a lot of fun. A lot of great stuff has been coming out. I knew September was going to definitely hurt, but man, it's a lot of fun. So here we go. Here's the game looking gorgeous. This is the first time I actually played it on the TV because I've been playing this on my Switch Lite. And that thing is awesome absolutely amazing i am very happy with the purchase i didn't know that i like it as much as i do but i definitely like it it's super comfortable and i love having a d-pad man i love having that d-pad on there and being that it's a nintendo official one it feels great but man this game looks absolutely gorgeous on here wow looks great on the smaller screen too but wow when you blow it up Oh yeah, it looks good. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, let's go with normal. Link, sounds good. Okay. Alright, fine with Link. Okay, it's no, is it not letting me use Link? What's that? Oh, okay. I didn't see the okay, my camera's in the way there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. But yeah, this game is looks awesome. My son, he uh, <laughs> it was funny because we went to a um, a Yankees game uh, last night on the twentieth, and we had a we took a bus there. His whole baseball team, we all went, and we took a bus there. And I brought my Switch Lite and Link's Awakening, and was playing it the whole ride there, which was absolutely awesome. But on the ride back, I was uh, playing it again, and um, I had to look for something in my bag. And all of a sudden, my son <laughs> snuck the switch out of my lap. <laughs> and I didn't even notice until I went to go play it. And I'm like, where is it? And then I look, and here he's playing it. Like he'd had it for hours. It was the funniest thing. Um, but it was crazy. That's when it hit me that, that the switch light is absolutely a 3ds replacement and it is meant for kids a hundred percent that is the number one person it is made for because i'll tell you what it fit his hands so perfectly and it, with him playing it it just looked like it was meant for him he's sick so he's small and i mean it it looked like it fit him perfect uh me it's it's a it, i got kind of bigger hands but, um, I mean, it's super comfortable. It doesn't feel small. It feels light, very comfortable. Um, it, it's solid. I mean, I, there's not much more you can ask for except for it docking. <laughs> if it docked, I mean, that would be it. But then nobody would probably buy the regular Switch. <laughs> I think that's what would happen. And I think Nintendo knows that. I think that's why they didn't make it dockable. But yeah, just look at this game. This Dreamer Edition is awesome. The art book that it comes with is gorgeous. Just like uh, if you haven't if you haven't seen my unboxing, check that out because I, I do show uh, pages of the art book. So for any of you guys that don't have this edition, um, you know check that out because that book is awesome. Uh, really high quality. And it looked when I pulled it out, I wasn't expecting what what was in there. So he says, he says oh, now he knows why the monsters are getting restless. Is Link woke up? Because they're in trouble. The monsters are in trouble, that's right. Yeah, your name's engraved on it. <laughs> but yeah, my son, he uh, likes playing this game. Even though he has no idea what he's doing, it's just fun to walk around and... And, uh, you know, hit stuff and everything. 
and the art style just draws kids in right away. Because, I mean, it is gorgeous. I, I love the art style instantly. To me, it felt like it just fit. And I still totally feel that it, it fits 100% for this game. I don't think this would work for other uh, Zelda games, but this one, definitely. I think I think Link, uh, Link to the Past could pull this off, too. But maybe not... Well... Yeah, probably. I, I think I think most of the uh, 2D Zeldas that are similar to this cartoony art style could go with this diorama. Nice. Already got the heart container piece. It's definitely nice kind of having an idea of where to go. Because I know, like, the first time I played this, I was like, well, uh, what do I do? <laughs> So you really want to get some money uh, by kind of farming for rupees here because you can get a shovel which can get you seashells and um, you know just more stuff. So I already got a shell, that's awesome. But you get the Yoshi doll and then you can start the trading sequence. So I don't have 10 yet. But like if you lose your shield or whatever, you can actually buy a new sh or you can actually get a a shield there too. I'm going to get 20 and then I'm going to see if I can get the Yoshi. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but it's worth a try. And then I'll proceed. It's just amazing how good this looks once you put it on a, a bigger screen. It just makes it look that much better because you see more details. Alright, so I got I think I got enough here to probably get the Yoshi, hopefully. Now the physics in this crane game actually are a little better. Well, we came quite a way though with um you know, the technology, and it, it shows. So, I don't even have to go to him right away, I don't think, now. So, we are going to play. All right, so. Good luck. All right, hopefully I don't mess this up. All right. All right, looking good. I think I got him. I think I got him. We'll see. Ooh, I think he might fall out. Uh, ooh, I look... Uh, uh, man, it's right there. <laughs> wow. I had a feeling that, that might happen. So this is the weird part. It's, like, kind of weird to get him now. All right, so... Make sure I hit the right directions here. So I want to move right first. I think I got them now. I just need to bump them onto there a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't believe that. It actually made it worse. Yeah, why not? I'm already uh, not doing so hot. I can't believe that. Alright. Uh, maybe. It's tough. I think this one's tougher. Because it has... Nah, I didn't get it. It has real, like, physics of that claw machine. I hate these claw machines, by the way. Alright, well, I'm out of money, so... I'll, uh, I'll take care of that later. <laughs> it took me... It took me a little while when I played the actual, um, game on this... To begin with, on the Switch Lite. I, I have that. I have the heart container. I got all those rupees. The only thing I got didn't get was the shield, because I just don't need it. I'll get that at a later time. I don't want to spend the whole video in there playing the, the game. Alright. So this is where you go if you want to get the, um, the shovel. And if you get the Yoshi doll, you want to go in this house right here. 
and there's the fishing game right there to the left and they I want to say you get a little bit more this time there well you get a bottle for one you didn't get a bottle before so that's pretty cool but um, you also get two pieces of a heart container I believe there And right here, this is always a good spot to get hearts if you're low on health. That's kind of my go-to spot when I'm hurt. <laughs> and today I'm representing Zelda here. I got the uh, Breath of the Wild shirt on and I got my uh, Hylian Crest here on my hat. I still can't get over how just awesome that this game looks. So we need to go get the mushroom and bring it to the witch. After we see this guy. Because we need to get the, the powder, the magic powder. Because he's sensitive to magic powder. Thanks a lot, pal. And I uh, haven't messed with the fairies. So I really don't need any uh, fairy help right now. But I'm always cutting grass because I definitely need to get coins. You need to get 200 coins to get that, that shovel. Get off me, red things. Oh no! Fell in the hole! Yeah, I need that shovel. Alright, so we're looking for a tunnel here. And thank god they didn't include the, the awful noise that you had to listen to last time uh, in the original games. When you got one of these acorns, oh man was it annoying. You just had to keep listening to this dreadful noise the whole time. Alright, so all this stuff is stuff you have to come back for once you get some other things. You need a power glove to lift them skulls, I believe. So, here's, here's the mushroom. Definitely need that. Alright. The toadstool. So, you really can't go any further there, so you gotta actually go back the way you came. And this game is just a lot of fun. I'm really glad that they remade this. I messed that up. <laughs> wow. Try that again. Alright, hopefully I won't mess this up. I may have messed it up. So let's see here. No, I got it. It was a long night last night at the Yankees game. <laughs> but definitely a lot of fun. But yeah, it was so cool watching my son with my Switch. Um, you know, he just thiefed it uh, from me so flawlessly, too. I had no idea that he had it. Well, that's their weakness. Let them hit your shield and it knocks them back and then you can attack. All right. 
right, so here she is. I love when you give her this thing and she mixes the, the witch brew. She, like, goes crazy. Starts uh, s stirring real quick. Look at her. She's a maniac. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we can equip that. So now we go find the raccoon. like how they kept this game pretty much the same because I don't think that it, it wasn't there was nothing that really wasn't broken in this game except for you know the dated visuals and the dated um, movement between screens that definitely needed to be upgraded and uh, the most of all the inventory system was the most dated thing absolutely with this game because that was pretty horrible coins quick yeah having to constantly go into your inventory screen and and s swap things out was awful oh come on oh he disappeared what you gotta be kidding me is he you better come back <laughs> i guess i'll uh, move away and maybe i'll be back there i hope I guess that's what happens when you get greedy trying to get coins. Okay, so I see. You get mixed up in the woods. Oh. Alright, so I'm too high I think now. He is over this way. There we go. There he is. So, I just magic powder him. There we go. Yeah, that's right. And you see that he's not a raccoon. <laughs> he's actually Mario! <laughs> no, he's... <laughs> Guy looks like Mario. It's Taron. Um, Aaron's dad. Yeah. Look at all the mushrooms on his back, man. He's like chowing down on them things. Turning into a raccoon yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Alright. So. Now we got that taken care of. So let's see. Here we go. So now we got the key to the tail cave gate. So now we can go to... Dungeon number one. And it's crazy, like, you have to take these steps in order to progress in this game. I mean, it's it's very linear in that sense, but still, I mean, the game is so much fun. And it gets, I mean, it starts out great and continues just to be fun the whole time. Um, it's somewhat of a small game. I mean... Especially if you know what to do, you can pretty much just move right through it. And if you get all the seashells and, you know, pretty much get all the upgrades that you can get, I mean, you really become, like, overpowered by the end of the game. I mean, you're just blasting through enemies like nothing. It, it is a lot of fun, though, <laughs> to be totally honest. Yeah, I'll take the coin. Yeah, it is so much fun. Oh, I gotta go this way. Because now we're going to the cave. Oh, I walked right into the hole. That was... That was dumb.
what makes me happy, I think, most about this game being remade is for young kids that never, you know, might never play the Zelda game yet, this could be their first one. Because I guarantee there's a lot of kids that are going to be playing this, probably already have it now, or they're going to get this for Christmas, and this they're going to experience this game, maybe their first Zelda game for the very first time, and... I believe they're gonna absolutely love this game. Uh, what if once they figure out like that it's a puzzle game as well? Because you know, at least now they can look up walkthroughs online and stuff. Because, I mean, if you're young enough, you will have no idea what to do. You wouldn't know that you need to pick up the shield and. You know, right away, you could just walk out of the house and never pick up the shield, and then you can't progress in the game. But, luckily for them, you can find out everything online these days. But, I think if they want to, if they like this game enough from the art style, which I believe they'll really like it, um, that they'll keep playing it and get to a point where they start to love this game. And, I think that's going to go a long way and could cause them to be lifelong Zelda, Legend of Zelda fans like uh, me. I really think that's going to happen, and I think that's awesome. I think that's great that my kids like Zelda, just the fact that they're even playing Zelda games here in 2019 is awesome. And they've been playing Zelda games now for years, and my daughter loves Breath of the Wild. It's actually one of her favorite games on the Nintendo Switch, and it's my favorite game ever. <laughs> so, I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job with the dungeons. They look so cool. Man, I need some health. Oh, give me that. <laughs> I mean, you start out with a meager, uh, you know, three hearts, so it's pretty easy to die here in the beginning. Especially when you're trying to blast through it. Uh, yeah, gotta push this guy. Oh, yeah. Come here, you. Nice. I'll take that. <laughs> So now I can get the rock feather, so I can jump, which unlocks a huge part of the game. And I love how they kept the, um, uh, I can't remember the character's name. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, the Goomba. Wow, I can't believe I forgot their name. Can't, I like that they changed the, or didn't change the Goomba's look, because that's what they looked like in the um, original game. So we want to equip that. Nice. So much fun to be able to jump. But yeah, I never hear anybody talk about the... Well, I hear people talk always about the 2D sections of Link's Awakening, but they never talk about how actually there was 2D sections in the original Legend of Zelda. Anytime you were in a dungeon and you picked up a new item, you went into a 2D section to, you know, pick up your item. And, I mean, you weren't able to jump or anything, but um, that game used 2D as well, so I don't think it's... I mean, really, it's pretty much very similar to the original one, in that sense. I just really never hear anybody bring that up. Alright, we will 
go over here. Easiest way to kill them, back them into a corner. Take care of you. I'll take that. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. Oh, I just made that jump. <laughs> Alright, so now we got this guy. We have to finish him. Oh, I didn't want to do that because I don't have much health. Alright. It was pretty easy. Alright, so we got us a fairy. And we have our warp spot now. Go down here. And I like how they have these guys hanging. They look cool. Oh, yeah. So I don't need that. That's all that's down here because I didn't get the final key yet. To open the boss door. Sometimes I do good at this, and sometimes it gives me a hard time. After the red. Uh, man, it's really getting me this time. Blue. Sometimes it gives me a hard time, those colors. So now I get, I think, bird's beak here. Yep. And you can stick it into the bird, uh, the beak, or the bird stone statue. There we go. Alright. So, I didn't even get the compass yet, which I believe is down there, even though I guess I can't go the, that way. And I don't have bombs yet to blow that door, so you can actually come back once you get the bombs. And my dogs are going crazy. I didn't want to leave yet. Oh, man. Oh, I think it was in there, too. I just had to defeat all the enemies. Oh. There we go. There's something. There's one of them. Oh, a red rupee. I'll, or, I'll take it. Alright. Oh, I don't want to do that. Ah, there we go. So I did already get this one. So this is the room. This is where you get the compass. Let's see. A little over halfway to 
to get in the shovel. So you need 200 for that. And to get um, a bow and arrow, you need 999 coins. So you need quite a bit, but let's see. So we can pull up our map now. So I, I never did go that way. So it looks like that's the only way I got to go is up through here. All right. So let me check that again. All right. All right. So I have to go where that bat is. Yep, I gotta undo that lock. Whoa. Okay, so now I got the Nightmare Layer key. But I still have one that I didn't get to. Oh, and that is that door that you need the bombs to unlock that. So I'm not going to be able to get that yet. So I'll just skip that and go straight to the boss. Love having this rock feather. It's so cool that you uh, can jump. I just like that. <laughs> uh, it's those guys. <clears throat> Already did that. Don't want to do that again. We are going to go down here and get that um, three hearts. Just jump all the way there because it's fun. I wish you could like cut those guys down. That would be cool. Or if they came back, came uh, to life and you had to fight them would be also really cool. Okay, here we go. The first level boss. It looks like a cheeseburger with lettuce. <laughs> buzz, buzz. So here we go. So, just chop on that little red pimple of a tail he has. And just pop that sucker. Looks like it turns into garlic or like a uh, flower or something. I guess it's, a, it's supposed to be like a flower. Uh, pretty easy boss. Easy to get hit too because you, you only have a, a little bit of health so really easy to die as well. Just as easy as he is to kill. Alright, so now we finally have four hearts, which we absolutely need hearts. Um, that's the one thing, I, I hate starting out with such little health, but... I mean, the game is easy, always, always easy when you start out, but... So, we got our first instrument. You've got the, let's see, full moon cello. Sweet. guys so that was the start of the game up to the first level dungeon boss um pretty awesome stuff we got the owl that's gonna want to talk to us again he always talks to you path opens in the blooms so that's where you go for the next basically chapter of the game the next dungeon and everything but yeah i'm gonna cut the video there um like i said that is the beginning of link's awakening that's the first level the first dungeon and your first you know actual upgrade you get is the rocks feather so pretty awesome stuff now you're able to get to new areas just by jumping out of there so thanks for hanging out and watching this video with me guys if you enjoyed it do me a favor please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do me a favor as well i got a buddy that is a huge links awakening fan um he has an absolutely great uh youtube game a gaming channel does a lot of game news and reviews um, and his channel is Bring Me Joy-Con. So go check him out, send him some love, give him some, you know, uh, some thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
Um, really good guy, and really, really good channel. So go check that out, guys. But like I said, thanks for hanging out with me. But we're going to end this there. I'm the, the War Train, and I'm out. Have a good one, guys, and thanks for watching.